Hey YouTube, welcome back to Cooking with the Drakester. Today I've got a guest, Tanner. He's a little more schooled on the bourbon side of things than I am. I'm more of a tequila guy, but I'm working my way through the bourbon and the whiskeys to see if I can find one out there that I actually enjoy drinking. And so far, no, I have not. <laughs> some I've enjoyed, some I've enjoyed more than others, but none of them I've really like enjoyed. So today we're gonna do Whistle Pig and we're gonna do Angel's Envy. Both 100 proof, I think. Yep. Yep, both 100 proof. Price of this bottle is about 87. What's that one? 100 bucks. 100 bucks. Interesting story with the name of Angel Envy. So when, uh, when, when bourbon is aged in the barrel, some of it evaporates over time, and they call that the angel share. And the guy that uh, made this bourbon whiskey, he joked that after he tasted it, that if the angel shares what evaporated, then what's left is the angel's envy, and that's how it got its name. That is cool. Now, Whistle Pig, if you're going by name, I think you have to give Whistle Pig the win just by the name. The logo's good too. Yeah, the logo's good too. Can, can they see the logo? Yeah, I don't know if you can or not. It's got a little piggy there. So, apparently, the story of the name for Whistle Pig goes that the guy was looking for a place to start a distillery. He runs across this Frenchman farmer in Vermont, and the Frenchman farmer's looking for his groundhog. And the groundhogs are called whistle pigs. So that stuck with this dude, and he named his distillery and whiskey after a groundhog, which is AKA the whistle pig. So there you go. There's a little there's a little backstory. And on where this. is this now? Where do they make this? They started in Vermont, but now they're in Mineville, New York. They they do this and they make this in Mineville, New York. And this one's in Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah, so it's odd that a whiskey is not made in Kentucky. Most I would say of them, most, most of them, them are. are. Yeah, so this is a rye whiskey. Is that a rye or no rye? This is a rye. This, this is, is so rye. Angel's Envy has two main bottles. They both look like this. They have the regular bourbon, and this is kind of the rye version. One thing that's cool about these bottles too is if you look close on the back, you can see. I don't know if you can see, but it's got angel wings yeah. on the back, which is pretty neat. I'm a little bit biased. I have to say, this is you've never had it, but this is my favorite personally. Yeah. Um, okay. So which well, one do you want to try first? Um, let's try the whistle pig first. All so, right. So we'll go ahead and give whistle pig a try, just because I like the name. So we'll go Cheers. from there. Cheers. Oh Jesus! Oh. <laughs> oh. <coughs> that is aggressive, as Tanner says. <laughs> that is aggressive. Ooh. That is aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know what this tastes like, but I know this isn't going to win. <laughs> that'll, that'll wake you up in the morning. Oh my goodness! Yeah, that Maker's Mark Forty Six that I tried <clears throat> is along the same lines as that. I think this might taste better but the gasoline content is the same. <laughs> and so, um, it's a hundred proof of gasoline. I'm pretty sure you Start can your run, run your car off of this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to slide this out of the way. Are you saying that that lost already? Pretty sure. Pretty, that's, sure. pretty sure that's a, that's a L in the bracket for that one. So <laughs> let's try. Uh, I, I would say that's <laughs> probably the more that you drink bourbon, that's probably one that you appreciate more oh, over time. Yeah. My face is red, man. It, uh, you would have to drink that a lot for me to appreciate it. But, and, uh, and and keep in mind, if you have if you put a large ice cube in it, it's going to be a little softer delivery. It's going to taste. Yeah, if you if you dilute be, it down with water, for sure, it's going to be. Yeah. Well, it even make it even chilling it is good, even if it if the water doesn't dilute the the uh, the whiskey. So. Yeah. Okay. Well. All right. Well, you're, maybe one of these days when I work my way through and I find one I actually like, then uh, you know we might dilute some in the water and put some ice in it. But uh, <laughs> we're going to try Angel's Envy. Cheers. Cheers. That's nice. That's 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 a million times better. Than that. <laughs> as far as the, as he says, aggressiveness of it. Yes. That's got a nice flavor. It's nice and smooth. It's uh, we tried Basil Hayden's earlier, and uh, I would say that's along the same lines. I think that's smooth. Better. I think that yeah. this has better flavor. We'll go head to head with the Basil Hayden's here later and see uh, which one's better. But this, sorry, Whistle Pig, you win on the name. Yeah, you lost it on the aggressiveness for me. I think I think when it's really just take catches you off guard because it is just it's a lot. It's it hits like, you right in the mouth. It's, it it, yeah. it does. I, you kind of can't taste the flavor. I think when when you have some that just feels a little more smooth, you you can kind of get some of that flavor. I think that's one of the one of the advantages to the 
to the Angel's Envy. Yeah, Angel's Envy is good. I have some friends that are a lot more versed in bourbon than I am, and they say that Angel's Envy is a little bit of a, a little controversial. Some people, it's like they either love it or they hate it. For me, I love the taste of it. If you're just getting into drinking bourbon and you want to try it, I think this is a really good option. Now, they're on the more expensive side. $100. $100 a bottle. They're a little harder to find. But if you get it, I, I think you'll. it's worth it. But that's what we're here for, is to save you from buying an $87 whistle pig and spend your hundo on the Angel Envy, which is better in my opinion. So yeah. now there's people out there that probably love this and I'm not hating on whistle pig. I'm just not a bourbon expert, not a bourbon drinker. I'm, this is for the people that are getting started and they want to kind of know what's maybe super aggressive and hits you hard or maybe what's a little smoother and that's kind of where this I am. This is an average Joe review. Exactly, super average and above average. So, I don't know about uh, that, but, but anyway, cool. so the win goes to Angel's Envy today and uh, Whistle Pig, I'm sorry, but maybe in three or four years when I'm <laughs> more well versed, I'll come back and try you again. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks.